Nagasaki. Hiroshima. Two atomic bombings that raised the two Japanese cities to the ground, instantly extinguishing hundreds of thousands of human lives. Two of the greatest tragedies caused by man that have entered the darkest and most atrocious pages of history. About 200,000 people died in the instant impact of atomic bombs, not counting the countless deaths caused over time by the devastating effects of radiation on health. Thanks to some studies conducted following the explosions, it was possible to build the most important and complete epidemiological database on the effects of nuclear radiation and on biological damage. To date, the tension between Russia and Ukraine is increasingly high and the war has been going on for several days, so much so that Putin has decided to activate the nuclear deterrence system. In this video, we will try to answer the question, what happens to the human body in the event of an atomic bomb explosion? What are the short and long-term health effects? At the level of the organism, the severity of the damage obviously depends on the radiation dose, the mode of exposure, the extent of the body surface exposed, and the sensitivity of the affected tissue. Let's start by saying that radiation has its own unit of measurement, the sievert, which takes its name from the Swedish physicist Rolf Maximilian Sievert, pioneer of radiation protection and the study of radiation in living organisms. Sievert is the unit of measurement of the equivalent dose of radiation in use by the international scientific community and measures the effects and damage caused by radiation on an organism. In the medical field, mostly its thousandth part is used, the millisievert. 1000 millisieverts equals one siever. To understand what the devastating effects of an atomic bomb are, let's first give some examples. Think that in the world, each individual absorbs about 2.4 millisieverts per year due to natural radioactivity. A chest X-ray results in a dose of approximately 0.02 millisieverts for the patient. A 0.7 millisievert mammogram, an 8 millisievert abdominal CT scan, a PET scan or scintigraphy ranges from 10 to 20 millisieverts. To understand the effects of an atomic bomb, we follow the tables drawn up by the World Health Organization, which reported the effects of radiation based on the exposure dose between 0.1 and 0.5 sievert. Causes a temporary decrease in white blood cells, immune system cells that protect the body from viruses, bacteria, fungi, and foreign bodies that enter the body. Between 0.5 and 1 sievert. Modest increased risk of infection caused by changes in the immune system and possible temporary male sterility between 1 sievert and 2 sieverts, so 1,000 millisieverts. There is talk of mild radioactive poisoning with a 10% probability of death after 30 days. Temporary changes in hemoglobin, nausea, vomiting, immune system depression, miscarriage, or increased incidence of premature birth in pregnant women. Between 2 and 3 sieverts, there is talk of moderate radioactive poisoning, with a mortality of 35% after 30 days. Continuous nausea, hair loss and hair all over the body, noticeable loss of white blood cells and subcutaneous bleeding. Permanent infertility in females, fatigue and general malaise. Between 4 and 6 siver, there is talk of acute radiation poisoning, with a mortality of 60% after 30 days. From 6 to 10 sieverts, mortality is 99% after 14 days. In this case, death is practically immediate. The bone marrow is completely destroyed, and the gastric and intestinal tissues are severely damaged. 10 to 50 sieverts leads to 100% mortality after 7 days. The initial phase is characterized by an absence of symptoms, so much so that it is called the phase of the walking ghost. After a few hours, large portions of skin begin to detach until death. More than 50 sieverts is what happens during an atomic bomb explosion. Exposed people die after a few hours or in the following days from skin burns and hemorrhages caused by radiation. Shockwave 
S mainly damage the junctions, between tissues of different densities, muscle and bone, or the interface, between tissues and the air. The lungs and abdominal cavity, are severely affected, thus developing severe hemorrhages, or embolisms. The eardrums, could rupture, e and develop irreversible damage to the eyes. The very bright initial flash, produced by the nuclear detonatio, N hits the retina, as it is very susceptible to visible light. Temporary blindness develops, which can last up to 40 minutes, are permanent. After a few months, opaque areas may form in the lens. The retina is burned, are partially burned, resulting in scarring, and the onset of visual defects. Long-term effects when an atomic bomb explodes, some of the energy released, is emitted in the form of ionizing radiation. It is electromagnetic, or corpuscular radiation, with sufficient energy, to ionize the matter they pass through, causing damage to the chemical structure. The ionizing radiation, released during the explosion of an atomic bomb, causes chemical reactions, capable of causing damage to the DNA, and favoring the development of various forms of cancer. It can take many years, between exposure to radiation, and the onset of cancer. Biological damage, due to ionizing radiation, can affect various components of the cell. However, DNA represents the most sensitive target, as it is a complex structure, with greater difficulty in repairing the damage. DNA strands, are broken, or its structure changed, altering the instructions, that ensure proper functioning. The affected cell can die, repair itself effectively, or undergo alterations, that are not repaired properly, and give rise to mutations. Following the studies, conducted on people, who survived the atomic bombs, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it was discovered, that among the most common types of cancer, we find some forms of leukemia, and thyroid cancer. The bone marrow is affected, and the cells that produce white, red blood cells, and platelets, are altered. There have also been cases of bladder, breast, lung, digestive and skin cancers. Not to be overlooked, is the onset of chromosomal mutations, also called chromosomal aberrations, which cause an alteration in the structure or number of chromosomes. In the case of pregnant women, the effects can be highly variable. Before the implantation of the embryo, the effects of irradiation are of the all-or-nothing type i.e. they can determine the death of the embryo itself, or have no consequences on its development. On the other hand, during the embryonic development phase, where the first tracts of the various organs and tissues are formed, the risk of malformations, growth retardation, alterations of the brain structure and mental retardation, increases. Exposure to excessive doses of radiation, increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, such as stroke, but also of other non-cancer diseases, such as fatty liver, cirrhosis, and chronic hepatitis. The immune system is weakened, and deteriorates faster, the rate of infertility and sterility increases.